Hey, Juventini, it's March 30th. Welcome back to the AJC. I'm Alberto. I have all this morning's news surfacing around Juventus for you, all right? Conte taking a one-year sabbatical, so not joining Juventus. Juve's future with Vlaovic, Chiesa's health status, Pogba's health status, 30 to 40 more points apparently being taken away from Juventus, and Illing Jr. to be sold. All that and more. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, first and foremost, if you enjoy the content, drop a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel. All right, now let's get into it. And right out of the gate, Conte and a potential return to Juventus has been swirling around for days now. But the latest news states that Conte is set to take a one-year sabbatical after things fell apart at Tottenham. All right, so he won't be joining any team, according to the latest reports. All right, now Juve's future with Vlaovic. Apparently, the reports today suggest that they have faith in Vlaovic and they want him to remain. They want to find his top form and they have full faith that they can do it. Look, all the reports for a while and coming out of the big guns, and we've been saying this and we've been very vocal about it here on the channel, on podcasts, on shows, everything is that all signs indicate from the club they want to continue forward with Vlaovic. They do not want to sell Vlaovic. We've been saying for a while, if there is a move, if something happens in the future, it would have to come from Dusan Vlaovic and have to be initiated from him all right so so far all signs point to Juventus wanting to continue with the relationship all right Rabio Juve also wants to continue the relationship with Adrian Rabio but what they're going to do is size up the competition so they're going to wait to see how high these Prem teams really want to go for Adrian Rabio and of course Liverpool being the most interested right now and again everything remains the same with renewals Juve will not get involved in discussions until end of April all right now Gatti, he had a fantastic interview. Um, I uh, basically would uh, recommend for all of you to follow us on Twitter because uh, Lou did a great job breaking it down in its entirety this morning, okay? But great, great stuff. One of the things that stood out is being questioned about why it took so long to get his minutes and whatnot. And he just said, look, I learned very quickly at Juventus that the shirt is heavy to wear and you have to be ready at any given moment to step in there and do your part and contribute. This guy is uh true true professional i'm very excited for what could come from gatti all right so great interview there go and check it out paul pogba underwent tests that went positively yesterday however still being reported that his return is not imminent and still unknown so strange strange stuff there with uh paul not quite making sense there uh maybe romeo gresti can give us some more insight when we have him on the show next and look for that announcement uh pretty quick here um in terms of leads they currently sit 14th in the premier league and we need them to stay there because they want to keep Weston McKinney and Mirko Di Natale has reported that today again that all signs indicate that from Leeds they want him to stay and they are willing to spend the 34 and a half million euros um, and give that to Juventus to keep him so hey fingers crossed Leeds doesn't have any slip uh, slip ups and uh, stays out of the relegation zone this season now these are the last months for Juan Cuadrado his next game is going to be his 300th appearance for Juventus and that could be Verona on Saturday however he will not be continuing with Juventus. It is done and dusted, everybody. Now, Illing Jr. reports today suggests that he could be sold if a good offer comes in. If you ask me, I would expect Juventus this summer, and I've been saying this for a while now, probably a couple weeks, I would expect them to sell somebody out of the midfield because we have a surplus of young guns in the middle of the park. I don't think Illing Jr. would be sold, but of course, anything can happen. And Di Maria is not uh, for sure to renew. Chiesa needs to get his bearings about him again. I don't think Illing Jr., will be moved. And again, thinking about him being behind Kostic and whatnot, it's not a given that we remain in the 3-5-2. But reports today from Giovanni Albanese that Juventus could potentially sell Ealing Jr. Sure, anything is a possibility. What do you think about that? Drop it in the comments section. And now, 30 to 40 more penalties at risk for Juventus. Yes, so based on all the penalties Juventus could face, there is the potential for more points. They're estimating it around 30 to 40. We know that mid-April will get the decision on the first 15 points. There's still the salary case. And there's still the uh, case about this uh, team, this conglomerate, this suspicious partners case about uh, a bigger, bigger scandal and scam and all these clubs working together. It's all nonsense. 
all right and i would expect that nothing sporting comes out of all the charges uva face however this is what's being reported. You know we lay it out for you to play it out, okay, and give it all to you and uh, don't filter anything here at Juventus so, or at all UV cast. So you take whatever you want out of it, all right, and we'll move forward with that. Chiesa, last, certainly not least, underwent specified training today. It went well. Everything was positive. He could be called up for Verona this weekend. And for Verona this weekend, we are excited to get back live. All right, we're going to have a match day live that morning. I am going to bring you a live watch along. And then we're going to have the post-match podcast Sunday, which will be live as well. And do not forget, we have a major, major announcement on Saturday. All right, now, you know the drill. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about the news you heard today. And we'll mix it up again tomorrow morning, everybody. Fino alla fine. Forza Juve. Ciao a tutti.